BFD lessons. Now in this video we, we are going to see analog output signal feedback from the drive. All right, We are having two types of feedback from the drive. Now the feedback always comes in the voltage 0 to 10 volts in this drive, right? Maybe the feedback can be 4 to 20 milliampers in some other models of drives but here we are getting 0 to 10 volts. So this feedback is based on two things you can select that you know if you want a feedback based on frequency then you can select then you can select the respective parameter which will give you feedback based on your frequency for example if your frequency is 0 hertz your feedback will be 0 volts if the frequency is maximum output frequency which for example let's say 50 hertz feedback will be 10 volts so that's the linear curve 0 hertz 0 volts 50 hertz 10 volts that's the feedback we are, we are going to get here and then you have feedback based on current in this you have 0 to 200 percent rated current of drive so based on the current you can read that feedback in your in your PLC in your HMI or if you want to display or, or you can you can also have a voltage display meter alright so now in this video we are going to synchronize the drive based on the feedback we are going to use this feedback to synchronize another drive alright so if you see this figure over there this is our master drive drive 1 and this is the slave drive okay so if you see this camera over here this is the master slave operations Hold on. let me resize it yeah now this drive M series is your master drive over here and this drive slave is the other one this is the L series, this one is the L series, this one is the M series. So this is the master and that's the slave. So what's happening here is, first let me show you what will what will happen if I run this drive. So I press run here. Now I'm going to change the speed of this drive. You will find that this drive follows the signal from this drive. So if it is at 3.7, this is at 3.6. So if I increase the frequency of this drive, this also increase. And my drive is connected to a motor here. Alright. So I haven't connected motor to this drive but this is just to display how they are synchronized okay if I increase beyond this will actually follow this one alright so how it is possible so in the wiring we are getting feedback from AFM AFM is analog frequency meter okay we have connected this AFM directly to AVI of another drive alright so the feedback of one the output of one goes to the input of other so this AFM is the output this will give you a signal when drive is running and it is at certain frequency which I told you that at 0 hertz, 0 volts, 50 hertz, 10 volts so this gives you a feedback which goes to AVI of another drive so AFM of this drive is going to AVI of this drive these two wires are actually AFM and ground of this drive and these are connected to AFM not AFM, AVI of this drive alright if you can see over here the AVI and that's the ground all right so that's how we have done the wiring okay now this will just synchronize by one by one ratio okay so if I increase it to 4.6 it will be 4.6 or 7 this is the noise signals so this is one by one ratio you can also play around with the gain now there is a one more parameter associated with that which is analog output gain which by default is 100 percent so what happened if you change the gain here you can see it says 50 percent okay if you put the gain 50 percent your frequency settings will be in 2 by 1 ratio if this is at 50 Hertz this will be at 25 Hertz okay so let's see that let's put the put the gain 50 percent so it is parameter 44 we have to put 50 percent so let me just quickly 44 that should be 50 percent now what will happen if the frequency is 50 in this drive, master drive, it will give you feedback of 5 volts. Okay, so I'm running this. Now this is exactly half of this one. Okay, so if I go to 10 hertz, yeah, this is 5 hertz because this is the voltage coming from here is not divided by 2, factor of 2 because the gain is 50 percent. So that's how you can reduce the gain to to match your motor speeds we have to adjust the gain suppose this motor this drive has a motor having a frequency having a rpm of uh, around 3000 rpm the first motor second 
motor maybe have RPM of 2000 but if you want to synchronize that you have to play with the gain you have to increase or decrease the gain all right so now if I increase the gain let's see for the, so the second case now let me put the gain 200 person this is the maximum range so I'll go back here 44 I'll go to the maximum 200 person all right now if I run this drive so have a look this is 2.6 this is 5. Point, this is 5.2 so that's twice the input okay if I take it to 25 that will move to 50 okay so that's the gain settings you can increase the gain you can decrease the gain and parallelly you can connect as many drives in parallel by this AFM and AVI connections you can connect the AFM of this drive to AVI of another drive and so on you can connect that in parallel and one more interesting thing if you want to start the drive at the same moment because start stop should be also be synchronized so what alternative you can do is you can uh, program your drive in such a way that it will accept on signal from the external control terminals source of operation should be external now take a relay take a switch connect a relay with that all right and if the switch is on this relay contact will be closed which will short the ground in m0 and another con contact you can connect here which will short the ground in m0 of this one that's how you can synchronize the on-off operation as well okay so this was about synchronizing the drive using analog output feedback and if you want to read this feedback we can we can write quickly show you because this wire is also going uh, this wire is AFM is also going to my channel 2 of analog input so let's read that just to sum up this lecture I'll go for analog input module setup and mode settings M1000 voltage mode and channel 2 present value because this is connected to channel 2 D0 okay okay now if I go to online now when I run the drive you can see the feedback of 3 Hertz it's coming here 900 something pulses okay this is twice of this one so if you increase to 10 Hertz you'll get a proportional feedback there now if you if you haven't attended the PLC lectures of learn PLC in a day course in which you have more than 117 PLC lectures I have explained that the input resolution of this card if I write here is like if you are reading 0 volt you will get 0 bits okay and if it is 10 volt you will get 8000 bits 0 bits is equivalent to 0 hertz in fact it's, it's like that 0 hertz will give you 0 volt which is 0 bits and 50 hertz will give you 10 volt which is 8000 bits in my card so that's how my card is synchronized All right. I mean this is the resolution 14 bit resolution so now if the drive is off then there is no feedback you can see that that's a noise signal 6 to 7 bits when the drive is on you will receive the feedback and this feedback is basically coming from H this is the output frequency if I change the H feedback frequency will change All right. now you can see that the gain was twice that's why at 25 Hertz you will get 8000 bits this shows the gain settings because the gain is twice that's why at 25 Hertz you get 8000 if I roll back the gain back to 100 percent parameter 44 let's go back to 100 now I'm back to 100 now when I run this drive you will first find the frequency is same the second thing is this feedback at 25 Hertz now will be 4000 say about 4000 okay this is the same this is one by one ratio gain okay so that was all about synchronizing the VFD if you have any queries if you're using different drive you must try the feedback of your drive and give it to another drive to synchronize that or you can read it in your analog card or the HMI or the voltmeter whatever all right any queries post a comment thank you